How's it going guys? It's 10.52 p.m. on May, uh, on June the 5th. Okay, I'm coming in to talk about a lens, a camera lens. Um, sorry, I just got my phone. So, this camera lens I'm going to talk about, I like it, but there's something I don't like about it. So, this camera lens is a Canon because I don't use any other brands like Sigma and um, Sigma and all that kind of stuff. You know those other brands that are not from the, the the company that you got the camera from, like Red, Ari, Canon, Sony, all that. I buy. I have a Canon and I love Canon and I'm probably gonna stick with Canon forever. I don't know yet. I haven't got my hands on a Sony lens, a Sony camera to try it out, like a little vlogging camera and stuff like that. I haven't got my hands on them to try it out, so I don't know if I really like Sony or not, but that's not the thing I'm getting at. So this is a Canon lens EF-M, EF-M because the 200, the M200, um, the M50, the M50 Mark II, I think that's what it's called. Um... Let me look it up real quick. And okay. So, it is called a Canon M50 Mark II. Um, I'm pretty sure all those lenses, those two other cameras, take EFM lenses. Um, because when I look up the M50, I, I zoomed in on my phone and I found out that it the EFM lenses because if I get that I don't have to you buy other lenses uh, buy lenses again because if you don't have the same ones that take the same lenses that you already have you have to rebuy them which kind of sucks about cameras but you can use adapters and all that but all right but anyways so um this lens the uh, Canon, so this is the EFM, like I said, 22 millimeter, 1.2 S STM, um, and it's a 43 millimeter. I guess that means like, um, like right here, like this around here, is a 43 millimeter. I'm not sure about that. Uh, that's what I'm guessing. Um, I need, I still need to learn a lot about lenses and video production and all that, but um. So the reason why I'm talking about this um, is because um, is because I like this lens, but there's only okay. so um, anywho um, so the reason why I got this is because um, I wanted another lens to try. Um, I do have the kit lens. I'm pretty sure it's in my in one in my drawer. Um, I'm not sure. Um, but the reason why I got this one is because I looked it up, and people have said this is a really good lens. And it takes great pictures. It takes great pictures. Uh, I'm not gonna show the pictures I took with it because uh, that's of my sister and her man, and I'm not gonna show those off without their permission. But um, it's a great lens. It's a 22 millimeter, and I thought I'd be good using this when I was making videos. But I, I, I was trying to vlog today with this, and I was holding the, I was holding the um, camera on the tripod it's on now, which I might make a video about the tripod that the can the camera's on, and I might also make a video of the camera. I don't know yet, but um, I had it on there, and I'm using this, okay, and I'm holding it. Let's just see my camera, my phone's the tripod. I'm holding it like so, and I'm going along, and I'm vlogging, and I'm vlogging. And I quietly looked at the top to see, like, because this lens is 20 millimeter. So if you have the camera up close, you're zoomed in close. You had a camera far, you're still a little bit, you know, it's one thick zoom. It's not like this one where I could go boom, and now you see my face close up on my face but if I zoom out you get the wide angle shot and you still get me in it right but this one I can't zoom in or out even more and it's just one fixed thing which is fine because 
the one I'm using now, my wide angle lens, it's 11 to 22. So I can go, so it's at 11 right now. So I could go zoom in and that's 22. I zoom back out, that's 11. Sorry if the camera, the onboard might pick that up. Um, and that's fine. That's totally fine. That's fine, but I'm going to get into pros and cons later. But that's fine, but when I was using this, and I'm vlogging it, right? I'm vlog, I'm having it on me. I'm having it on me. I'm vlogging, I'm vlogging, I'm vlogging. And I'm looking at the screen. I looked at the screen real quick, right? Because I, I, know, I know ways where I could do it. Where I could just, you guys don't know what I'm looking at. I was looking at the screen. Let me know in the comments down below if you knew I was looking at the screen without moving my head. Anywho. And I'm going at it, and one thing is that I didn't like the background was so shaky. It just looks shaky. I, it just looks so shaky. And I'm like, um, I don't like how the back of my the back of the, the background was so shaky. And here's me. I'm not sh you're looking at me and I wasn't shaky but when I was walking it was so shaky but when I'm using the uh, when I'm using the, the 11 to 20 my wide angle lens 11 to 11 to 22 millimeter lens wide angle lens right now that I'm using right now I use that in the back and I'm holding it steady and the background's not shaky but I'm like why is it with the 22 millimeter why was the 22 millimeter and I have all the settings set perfectly and everything. Why is a 22 millimeter shaky with the background when I'm rocking, but my 11, but my 11, to, my, my wide angle lens is not. And that's fine, but I'm just like, it's just mind boggling me that it the background was shaky, but you looked at me and it wasn't. So you're gonna be so you're gonna be so focused on the background being shaky. You're not even gonna notice what I'm vlogging. You're not even gonna notice what I'm talking about when I'm vlogging or nothing. Because if that was me watching of somebody vlogging and the whole entire background was so shaky, and and you look at the person vlogging it, they're not they're they're not shaking or moving or nothing. They're steady, but the, when they're walking, that background's shaky. You're gonna be focused on that background. Trust me, because I know I would be. So. That is the thing about this lens, right? But tsh, let me tell you, man, a 22 millimeter takes great pictures. But I want to try this. Hmm, it's right behind me. I want to try the 22 millimeter with my M200 on my gimbal. And I do have a review on this. I'll put that up there. I'll put it. Uh, it's at her. Up there or up there, one of the two, and I put it. And I also put it down in the comments down, in the description down below for you guys. Um, the review on this, but anyways, the, uh, that's not why I took this out. But anyway, I have this out. I have this out because I was bringing other things in my bag. I didn't want to bring this with me. Um, because I wasn't. I was going out vlogging, but I wasn't going out where I needed this. So, anywho, I want to try this on my camera that, on my M two hundred right now uh, that I'm using right now to vlog. That I'm using to make this video. Ah, excuse me, guys. Um, I want to try it out on here, but I also. But the thing is, I want to try it out on on this gimbal and see if I can use that with this, and it's still going to be shaky or not. Or uh, I can use this to take some B roll. Um. So now I'm going to get into pros. I'm going to get into cons. I don't know if there's going to be a lot of pros and a lot of pros and cons into this um, um but um so uh, I'm gonna get on with the pros the pros is it's lightweight this is lightweight um very lightweight not too heavy never do that with your lenses guys I don't know why I did um it's lightweight um it's one fix it's a fixed lens it, you can't uh it's, a, it's lightweight so that's a pro um you don't have to like adjust it or anything when you put it on the camera just put it on turn it on and you're good to um 
there's that. Um, it's, it's it's very small, so you could put it in your bag with other things. Um, so yeah, you can put it on with other things, stuff like that. But um, cons are um, those are the only two pros I could think of right now. If I could think of another woman of doing the cons, I'll say it. Pro cons. You want to use this to vlog, your background's going to be shaky. Uh, I have it, I have the sonar AF on. I have, I, I, I was holding my camera steady and all that because I learned to do that when I'm, when I'm using my camera to vlog and stuff like that. So there's that. Um, the thing is, but your, your background's going to be shaky and stuff like that. Oh, another pro. It takes great pictures. Really, really, really great pictures. So that's another pro. <laughs> Um, another con is, um, uh, you can't zoom in and zoom out, so if you have your camera, like, if you have it up close like this, you're gonna get a really close shot of, of the person's face, um, you can't zoom out, there's no zoom in, zoom out, um, another thing is, when I used this to make videos before, um, I heard it going, ee, 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 I don't know what that is. I think that was trying to like focus, focus on me. So I remember hearing it in one of my videos when I used this to make videos because I was testing it out. Um, yeah. So that's it with this. I think this will be a great. Don't quote me on this right now, uh, but I'm thinking it might be a great lens to use to make B-roll. I could be wrong. I could be right. I don't know on that so don't quote me on that guys but um yeah um that's the canon ef efm lens 22 millimeter lens um that's that on this on uh, this lens here guys for you guys um yeah guys more vlogs are coming more camera more camera Videos are coming on camera equipment and camera stuff. You know, I love talking about it. I keep on saying it. But yeah, guys, so this is Magical Day out. Um, please have a magical day if you guys are doing. Um, I love you all. Okay, um, I love you all. Like the video. Like the video. It helps more than you guys think. Subscribe. It helps more than you guys think. I love you all, and I'll catch you on my next daily vlog, stream, camera video, or podcast. Well, soon.